Good morning. We are now packing up from the free campsite and then we're gonna head off, pick up two kayaks and then we'll be heading down the river for the next two days and there's also gonna be some camping along there and I'm hoping to get some good kayaking shots. Um, oh yeah, we had some family next door and they had their alarm go off at 4.15 this morning. A little bit too early for my taste. But yeah, a bit of kayaking will do us well, so let's go. Test packed and ready to go. Um, we have the kayak which will be in the shots and that's me on the other one with all the camera gear and some of the camping stuff. We've got food for 24 hours and we have a tent, we have sleeping mats, everything you need. Um, they told us the water level is a bit low but this could be really really awesome because some of the river or some of this lake that we're paddling down is actually a dammed valley and there used to be forest everywhere and there's these dead trees sticking out. So if the water level is lower we'll probably get some more dead trees. So it could be really interesting. You guys are going to go down the Kangaroo River and you're going to finish up tomorrow 21 kilometres down at Tallawa Dam. There's no phone reception on the whole trip. All around here there are camping areas. When you get here it's a four-way intersection. You go straight through it. It is worth taking a detour up here. There's a drowned forest up in here. And if you go up this one there's an old convict road up here you can have a look at. Yeah, paddling. set up camp. Here's the kayaks. We're in the middle of this flooded forest and I'm hoping that tomorrow we get a beautiful sunrise, hopefully some mist or some atmospheric light and some golden light rays coming through. I mean that would be the ideal case so hopefully we get the best tomorrow. I'll show you around camp. So it's not gonna rain tonight so we've left the outside layer off the tent so we can Hopefully see the stars tonight. Maybe I can get some long exposure shots with the dead trees standing out. Maybe even some reflections on the water. Um, yeah, just about to have dinner. And that's about it. It's as simple as it gets, really. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is half past five. And I just spent two hours shooting um, the sky, the stars, and now I'm doing some nice slow shutters, long exposures of the reflections, night long. The sky was incredibly like on fire with stars, and I kept waking up looking at it thinking, oh, I should take photos, but we're gonna get up for sunrise. So now I figured, eventually I figured, you know what, just get up and shoot it. I've managed to find this beautiful tree that stands out and I've sort of found a position that works. I'm using the EM1 Mark II with the 7-14mm f2.8 Pro and a Lee Circular Polarizer to cut out some of that reflection and get some transparency in the foreground. And 
my settings are one third of a second f6.3 so let's see what we get and i'm loving this blue hour it's actually quite nice i would normally wait for sunrise in a, in a place like this but i think that there might be a bit of wind later on it'll take all those reflections away and now we're getting getting this beautiful cool light that really goes well with the blue sky oh, it's so moody love it all right i stepped into the kayak and paddled out a bit in the search for some golden light and i have found it the sun is just coming up behind me and there's a mountain in front of me which has this huge cliff line and it's in this beautiful golden light. So now I'm just sitting still in my kayak and waiting for the light to just, the water to just calm down and hopefully we can get a crystal clear reflection. I have a feeling there might be a little bit too much wind already, but check this out. Alright, the sun is up um, and I'm going to capture or try and capture an image using the sun. Now there's lots of really interesting tree formations here and all these dead trees, some of them have holes in the trunks. So if I use a high aperture around 11, uh, 13, maybe f16, I can make a really nice star out of the sun and if I kayak it perfect in the perfect direction I'll try and get the front of the kayak in the shot and then get the sun in one of the trees left and right or something in those trunks in a hole and I'll try and, and get the star like shining bursting through just to add a little bit of extra interest to the image. We just finished, um, we just landed at the end point, which is the dam, and we're a little bit too early, so we have one and a half hours wait, but it was a really good paddle. It's really, really hot today, and I wish I could have filmed a little more, but I was absolutely exhausted because we also miscalculated our water a bit, so ran out of water. That's a big mistake. And then it just really, really drains you, so Next time, take more water and to be more prepared for extreme heat. I think today it should be around 38 degrees, so not so much fun, which is also why we came a bit quicker, a bit earlier, so we could avoid the afternoon heat. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I've mixed in some cinematic stuff. I'm hoping to do more and more of that. I'm learning a little more about cinematography, so I'm just gonna mix it into my YouTube videos. If you have any tips or tricks for me, let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you really liked it then hit the subscribe button and make sure to click the little bell icon so you get a notification when there's a new video until then well hopefully i'll see you next week and until then keep shooting